and honored that I, I am given a chance to be uh, with all of you. Grateful to the management, faculty, and students. So uh, I come from an architectural background. <laughs> I'm going to share an architectural journey of uh, building a new India. So I will share from the partition of India how we are building a new India for the future. This is a emblem of uh, Chandigarh, uh, which is about 80 feet high and it revolves like a weather cock. And it gives the wind direction. And uh, the, 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 it means that we Punjabis are open to receive and open to give. And uh, when, uh, <coughs> when uh, India got partitioned in 47, Punjab's capital, which was originally Lahore, it went to the Pakistan's share. And we Punjabis, the Indian Punjabis, are left without the capital city. The government of India decided to build a new city, new, new Chandigarh. And uh, Pandit Nehru invited a legendary Swiss-born French architect called Alain Cabouzier to design the new city. So, this is a quote from uh, Pandit Nehru. He said, I wanted a city which will be uh, free from all the shackles and shall be un unfettered by the traditions of the past. He said, I want a modern city for future growth of the country, which will be an inspiration for the future uh, generations. So this was the philosophy, the guideline given by the then Prime Minister Nehru. And the legendary French architect, that is Carbusier, he said, towns are biological phenomena. And he says, uh, I'm planning this city at the Fort, Fort Hill of Shivaliks, and it is, uh, head is the capital complex from where the thinking comes, and heart is the commercial district in the middle of it, and uh, educational belt on the educational belt on left side is, is a limb, and the other limb is industry. Roads are arteries, and green spaces are the lungs of the city. And this is how the city is shaped up. You know, this this road is leading to the capital complex on the foothill of Shivalik. And at the far distance place, you see this uh, capital complex buildings. This is the road which is named Janmar leading to the capital complex. This is the city center. After uh, Delhi's Connaught Place, this is the largest and the most beautiful uh, city center in the country. Spread in, two, two, uh, spread in uh, 250 acres of land. This is the capital complex. In the words of a very, very famous American architect, Paul Rudol, he said, in the 20th century, if something great has happened in the world in the field of architecture, that is this complex. It is one of the best complex ever built in the entire world. So this is the assembly hall, and the, at the far away places is a high court. This is the assembly building. <coughs> This is the Secretariat complex. Then, a less read genius, Nate Chan, has created a rock garden. And rock garden is created out of all the waste materials like fused bulbs, you know, broken bangles, broken bottles, broken, uh, you know, pieces of uh, sanitary fittings and all. So this garden was created out of that in 40 acres of land. And this is the one of the most visited place in Chandigarh. And inspired from this, in some other parts of the world, they have tried to create these kind of gardens out of the waste material. And Nick Chan said, the creator of this uh, place, he said that uh, I see uh, God in every waste piece, in every piece. He says, I, I am beautifying the waste pieces uh, to, to create a so that we can see uh, God in, in, uh, in, in uh, every particle of uh, the waste piece. 
So you see it has different sections. It has uh, sculptures. It has uh, various uh, uh, scenes enacted. So it, it was like a, he got a dream that uh, we, that there was a king, queen, and they, they, their kingdom has fallen. And he said, I'm trying to recreate that kingdom again. And uh, <coughs> this is uh, Kabuzie, the creator of Chandigarh, the planner of Chandigarh. When he left Chandigarh, and this is one of his famous saying, he says, the seeds of Chandigarh are well sown, and it is for the citizens to see that the tree flourishes. And then we talk upon this responsibility and uh, learning from whatever ex he experimented with in Chandigarh. And we followed those principles in architecture. And we created all these buildings, which are environment friendly, which are, uh, you know, we use local materials. We, we have taken care of the culture, local culture, the living habits food habits, everything was taken care of. So we planned all these projects in and around Chandigarh and in other parts of India. Then after some time, I got a chance to, to be a corporator, a counselor in Chandigarh Municipal Corporation. And uh, there were some dream projects which were part of the master plan of Chandigarh. They could not be realized from the last 60 years because of some certain technical problems. Because I was an architect by profession, I could solve those problems. And uh, we have a huge parking problem like in any other city. So we built this multi-level parking for 1,000 cars uh, from the Chandigarh Municipal Corporation. And uh, this is a three stories underground. Why three stories underground? Because we never wanted to fiddle with the master plan of Kabuzi, the original master plan. Then uh, there, was a, there are two overbridges which are crossing this commercial district and the pedestrian movement is underneath. The vehicles can pass from the upper level and pedestrians can walk in the plaza un, un, uh, disturbed. So one overbridge was built but the other one was, could not be completed due to certain reasons. So when I became a counselor, I took upon my, myself this responsibility and uh, I could materialize this project too. And uh, with this, the, one of the dream project of Chandigarh got completed. Then there was this one building which was under some dispute, some uh, technical problems, and this was the only pending building in sector 70, which is the commercial district again. So I could complete this building. I sorted out all the problems with the help of uh, local administration and uh, with the municipal corporation. So we, we completed this. Now, I'm, uh, I feel uh, pride in saying that the sector 17 is fully completed as per the dream of the great grand architect. Now, the city as any other body, uh, any other city, it, it, is, it, it has faced many challenges. And what are the challenges? The central government has proposed a metro project costing uh, 13,909 13, crore rupees metro project for Chandigarh. I sense that uh, for a small city like Chandigarh, metro may not be a feasible option. I, I personally studied the whole nitty gritty of that project. I studied all the files, you know, uh, I got a a big file from Lucknow also, which was sent to us by some friend, that this is the metro's details and requirements. And I studied and I submitted to the Home Ministry. Current, currently, I am, in, uh, I am with the Home Ministry, the advisory committee on duties. Okay. Meeting was held with the then uh, Home Minister Rajnath Singh Ji. And I told him that, sir, this is not a feasible project. You kindly consider these are the facts and figures. In the meeting, they, they got it cancelled. Then a famous builder group has conceptualized a huge mega project on the foothill of Shivalex in a very eco-sensitive zone, costing, costing a huge amount of money. You know, many multi-story buildings, 35 stories, you know, shielding the all uh, Shivalek mountains and everything. I organized a seminar in Chandigarh in 2010, and uh, you know that there was a huge coverage, coverage in the media, and 
the the message has gone to the authorities and uh, they have taken notice of it and ultimately this project stands cancelled so that is our contribution to the city to save it from from the various challenges finally punjab government came up with another plan to build a satellite city you know just uh, touching chandigarh that is called, that the new city was called anandgarh one of our colleague architect jeet kulhotra from uh, delhi he met then prime minister atal bihari vajpayee and explained to him that this city will ruin the original plan of chandigarh atal bihari vajpayee sir has cancelled this in a friction of a second he says i understood and it will, this project will never be built so we we got this project uh, drawn with drawn this is a structure from where chandigarh is born it's a temporary structure uh from where from where these uh, uh, architects and engineers consultants used to operate for making a, a new city on a virgin land of uh, 114 square kilometers in one of the seminar organized by a leading english daily in chandigarh i advocated that this building should not be demolished because they they were um, they were proposing to demolish this building to build a new multi story building there because it's uh, on a prominent location my idea got published in the papers again authorities have noticed it and now this is uh, converted into a museum this is a new museum in chandigarh which is uh, fitted into a existing structure from where the carbuzes team used to work then when uh, pakra dam was being built To, to to tell you the magnitude this dam is uh, three times higher than the height of the kotab minar and we have a 97 km lake on the back side called goban sagar lake and when this project was being designed this is a engineering job basically uh, pandit nehru advised the government of punjab that uh, you employ architect kabuzi to beautify this project so uh, this is the first dam in india where architect was employed to to take care of the aesthetics and the environment of that project ultimately he came in and uh, he suggested he gave many suggestions to, to the to the government one of the major suggestion was he said we will uh, reserve some land on either side of the canals to to put forest there and uh, that forest will come under the control of uh, uh, this uh, forest department and along all the canals certain land is reserved trees were planted millions of trees are planted and hence the ecosystem of punjab the microclimate of punjab has considerably improved so this is the contribution uh, which uh, was made by architect and uh, when i was a student of architecture in college there was a hardly any literature to study from we used to uh, study from newspaper clippings or or we used to borrow foreign books and we we cannot correlate with the foreign books because because indian climate is different indian living habits are different indian culture is different indian building materials are different everything is very different so we cannot learn from foreign books in the context of architecture so uh, that uh, we should have our own literature in the country we encourage other friends we 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 ourselves worked on that and the result uh, we have produced many books plus uh, in india we have more than 120 books on indian modern architecture architecture which are available for the students to study and and the conclusion of my talk is that uh, whenever new cities are planned around the globe no care has been taken for the poor sections of the society neither our policy makers nor our architects nor planners have taken care where to accommodate the poor people the resultant is most of our, our cities are having nearly 30% of the population living in slums so 
we should uh, poor sections of society are integral part of our system so we need to take care of them this is one secondly we need to document the modern heritage of uh, india i call it modern heritage because we have enough literature on lal kila and and other places we need to document modern buildings modern literature modern you know it has to be documented so that future generations can can learn from it in addition to that we need to experiment with new ideas so that uh, we sh we should sow the seeds for the future generations of big ideas new ideas so that this nation can progress and with this note i close thank you so much